Hi everyone, Paul Richmond here, and I want to talk to you about art crime. Last week, someone sent me a link to a post on Facebook that was advertising one of my art pieces. It had been chopped up into five different canvas prints, but it was my, my original painting. The Facebook page that had sponsored the post is called, ironically, Be Yourself. And I had never heard of them before. It's supposedly a pro-LGBT, you know, equality kind of page. But really, it's just a front for selling stolen stuff. This post had over 4,000 likes, tons of comments and shares, people saying, yes, I'll buy this, this is great. I didn't know anything about it and wouldn't have if somebody hadn't told me. I started to, to dig in a little deeper and I actually found that they were also selling another one of my pieces. This one wasn't even chopped up. They were just selling the whole full image of the painting. This kind of stuff is so incredibly frustrating. The worst part is that there doesn't seem to really be anything you can do about it. I had my first experience with this back in 2011, and I actually made a video about it back then. At that time, my friends and I did a whole undercover sting operation to try and learn more about this company. That incident happened on eBay, and it was a seller based in China, and often these types of operations are overseas because that makes it easier for them to get around our copyright restrictions. So I sent the be yourself people a little email pretending to be somebody else and uh, asking about the print and kind of acting like I wanted to, to buy some. And they wrote back and told me, you know, how popular it is. They said they've sold over a thousand of them. Who knows if that's true or not. Regardless, when I started asking about the artist, who, who actually made this piece, then they stopped writing. When you talk about this kind of stuff happening, there are usually two responses that everybody says. The first is, well, you should watermark your stuff. And, and maybe, you know, that's, I know some artists that do that and, and it works well for them. For me, I hate the idea of putting something that's going to block you know, any part of a painting. If I want to share it with people online, then I want them to see the full painting. So I'm not, I don't like the idea of putting a watermark on my work. And there's software out there now that people can get to remove the watermark. If somebody wants to steal the image, they're going to anyway. The other thing that people say is, well, you need to get a lawyer and sue them. Well, when you're talking about international copyright, First of all, that's almost impossible to enforce. That's why there are so many knockoff purses and shoes and dresses and everything else that, that get imported, usually from China. If Gucci can't stop them, me as an independent artist, I don't have a prayer. So the best that I can do is to let people know by making videos like this and sharing things on social media that if you're gonna buy art, and you should, <laughs> buying art is awesome, but buy it responsibly. Don't just click on something on Facebook and, and think that you're actually supporting an artist by, by purchasing that, especially if they don't even give credit. The best thing that you can do is, of course, to buy artwork directly from artists. We love that. Or reputable galleries and other platforms that, that you know the artist is being compensated. You see art of all styles being ripped off in this way, but I do think it is especially detrimental for queer artists because there are so few galleries that actually represent our work and sell it for us. So art collectors are used to buying this type of work online. If, if I'm trying to compete with myself and the average person that comes along sees this and likes it and buys it from them, they, they have no idea that they're really screwing over the person who made that piece that they love so much. There's nothing flattering about this. People say that sometimes. Well, you should be flattered that somebody likes your work enough to steal it. <laughs> Would you be flattered if someone liked your taste in decorating enough to break into your house and steal all your crap? I don't think so. It's not flattering at all. Artists deserve to be compensated for their work. So if you're an artist, or an art collector, if you care about art, then I ask you to please share this video with, with everybody that you can. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel down below. And you can also leave me some comments and let me know your thoughts about this issue. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.